Hi, my name is Kilian Barnsen, and today I'll be presenting our work, Augmented Reality Cues Facilitate Task Resumption After Interruptions in Computer-Based and Tangible Tasks. This work was done with collaborators Lukas Thiemann, Lukas Plabst, and Tobias Grundgeiger. Let's begin with our motivations. Interruptions are frequent in many work domains, such as healthcare, aviation, software development, or office work. Interruptions have several negative effects, such as higher error rates, decreased efficiency, more stress, and decreased satisfaction with one's own work performance. Although efforts have been made to avoid interruptions altogether, this approach requires deep workflow restructuring and is not applicable to all tasks. For example, time-critical tasks that must be addressed immediately may occur and thus require the interruption of the primary task. A different approach to interruption management is to attempt to mitigate the negative effects of the interruption. For this purpose, various types of visual cues have been explored, demonstrating varying degrees of efficacy. Sticky notes have proven to be effective reminders for task resumption. Additionally, naturally occurring artifacts, such as nurses carrying around a syringe when interrupted during the administration of medication, can also serve as cues. Conversely, more subtle cues, such as the simple act of placing the mouse cursor on the correct task point for task resumption after the interruption did not improve task resumption. To the best of our knowledge, the effectiveness of augmented reality cues has not yet been explored. Augmented reality has the potential to enable cues to be utilized swiftly and adaptively across a variety of work environments. Moreover, augmented reality cues offer hands-free operation, eliminate the need for physical artifacts to be placed, and could be integrated with other augmented reality applications, such as checklists. Considering these potential advantages of augmented reality cues, our study had two primary objectives. Firstly, we aim to examine the effect of augmented, augmented reality cues on task resumption. Secondly, we sought to investigate the effect of the method of cue placement on their effectiveness, that is, whether through a hand gesture or automatically by tracking task progress and detecting interruptions. We contribute two empirical studies that demonstrate the effectiveness of augmented reality cues, empirical data that compares the effectiveness and usability of manually set cues with automatically set cues, and a new paradigm for studying interruptions of tangible primary tasks. Our study plan looked as follows. We conducted two laboratory experiments. The first one used a computer-based primary task that was already well established in interruption research. We used it to compare the effectiveness of automatically set cues with manually set cues or no cue at all. We also manipulated the interruption length as longer interruptions are known to be more disruptive. It showed that cues are generally effective, especially after long interruptions. For experiment two, we developed a new tangible primary task that more closely resembled a tangible working task, such as medication sorting. Considering the relevance of spatial memory for task resumption, our goal was to evaluate how cues performed in a task with a more notable spatial dimension than the computer-based task in experiment one. Since experiment one showed no difference between the two modes of placing the queue, we concentrated on comparing the automatically set queue with no queue while still manipulating the interruption length. Since the computer-based task is already well established and time for the talk is short, I will concentrate on experiment two, which is more novel. If you're interested in experiment one, you're encouraged to look into the paper for more information. So let's look into experiment two. I already mentioned that we developed a new primary task for experiment two, so let's first have a look at that. Here you see the experimental setup. The participants were seated on the red office chair and wore a HoloLens 2. In front of them, there were bowls filled with colorful pearls representing different types of medication. In front of the bowls was a pill box with separate compartments for each day of the week. Both the bowls and the pill box were fixated on the wooden board in order to make sure they didn't move around during the experiment. The QR code on the wooden board helped the HoloLens identify the location of the bowls and the pillbox. Behind the participant, there was a tablet which displayed the interrupting task. From the participant's point of view, the primary task looked like this. The instructions detailing the order in which the pills were to be placed in the pillbox were presented in augmented reality. The pearls need to be placed in the precise sequence 
as any deviation from the order triggered an error sound. These instructions displayed all perfs for a single day. Upon placing the final perf for the current day, participants could press the button on the right to advance to the next day. The interrupting task consisted of arithmetic problems. The problems consisted of addition and subtraction of numbers between 1 and 15 and were solved by choosing the correct of four answer options. Participants had five seconds to solve each problem. Each interruption consisted of either three or nine arithmetic problems, resulting in 15 or 45 second long interruptions. Each participant was interrupted a total of 12 times with six short and six long interruptions. This video demonstrates the workflow during the experiment. You see that the pearls have to be placed one after another into the pillbox. As you can see, upon placing a pearl in the pillbox, an interruption can be triggered, signaled by a sound. The instructions disappear, prompting the participant to turn around towards the tablet to address the interrupting task. Another sound indicates the completion of the interrupting task. In this instance, the visual cue was presented to aid task resumption. We opted for a straightforward red arrow, considering that sailing cues have shown to be most effective and acknowledging the significant role of spatial memory in task resumption. As mentioned before, we manipulated the presence of the queue between subjects and the interruption length within subjects. Our primary measures were the so-called resumption lag and the number of resumption errors. The resumption lag is the time between the end of the interrupting task and the reuptake of the primary task. It reflects the time needed to reorient oneself in the primary task and is a commonly used indicator for the disruptiveness of interruptions. The longer the, the resumption lag, the more disruptive the interruption. In the context of our experiment, the resumption lag is the time between the end of the arithmetic task, indicated by the sound, and the first touch of a bowl. We expected that the presence of an augmented reality queue would result in shorter resumption lags compared to no queue, meaning that the interruptions were less disruptive when the queue was present. We also expected that long interruptions would cause longer resumption lags compared to short interruptions, which has been demonstrated before. Furthermore, we anticipated that the negative impact of long interruptions would be mitigated when augmented reality queue was presented. Now let's have a look at the results. As you can see in this diagram, the resumption lag in the no queue condition was longer than the resumption lag in the automatic queue condition, confirming our first hypothesis. This effect was remarkably large. The main effect of the interruption length is not as clearly visible in this chart, but was also statistically significant. As predicted, longer interruptions resulted in longer interruption lags. The interruption between the Q condition and the interruption length is clearly evident, while the no Q condition showed clearly prolonged resumption lags after longer interruptions. There was no such effect of interruption length when the augmented reality Q was presented. This confirms our third hypothesis. We also did the same analysis analysis for resumption errors, and it showed the exact same pattern as with the resumption lag. So what are the implications of this study? First of all, we were able to demonstrate that augmented reality cues are a viable tool for interruption management. They are able to facilitate task resumption. They do not require the placement of a physical artifact and could be applied to various work environments. Secondly, as of experiment one, which we skipped today, there is no clear advantage of placing the cue manually or automatically. Placing the cue automatically saves time and is more convenient but it requires a reliable task tracking system along with interruption uh, detection measures. Placing the queue manually adds another step, but does not require the implementation of such a complex task tracking system. Thirdly, we were able to demonstrate the effectiveness of augmented reality queues while using such a simple queue as a big red arrow. One could speculate that the effectiveness of queues could be further improved by customizing the queues according to the user needs in the specific work environments. For example, presenting additional information alongside the error or swapping the error for custom icons to represent certain steps within a task. And lastly, our new paradigm for tangible primary task proved to, re proved to be reliable. The resumption lag is measured precisely 
as well as the resumption errors, and several aspects of the paradigm could be altered for subsequent research, such as changing the type of queue, changing the interruption length, or changing the interruption task altogether. This concludes my presentation, and I thank you for your interest in the effects of augmented reality queues on task resumption.